Okay, begin rebuttals with the cons. The first thing that you guys said that Cyber Marine Dan and for that one, they can talk with others that aren't there and it must bad because she doesn't really talk with adults and it's keep on going and so it's not really fault that it's because of the social network service. So the second thing you said was that um, they they can they, their grammar can is not going to improve well, but for some people they they can. They can use a dictionary if it doesn't work well. Some people, I don't know who uses a dictionary, but yeah. See, one of the audience uses the dictionary. The that you guys said is for YouTube, there's lots of inappropriate th things to watch, and children can watch it more easily. But it, by, but in YouTube service, there's the one of the thing called, like, there's, I don't really know how to call this, but it broke the bad thing by parents and email, so they don't really can watch this. When parents get parents said that don't don't show the thing in YouTube. So we say censored. Uh, yeah. It was censored. Okay, next. Um, Sometimes the parents don't know that the children have an account. They'll make a random account and oh, the parents here, don't know. Here, here. Here, here. Guys, your account. audience. And they can still view that stuff even if it's censored by the parents on their normal account. They can create an, another account and YouTube still lets them do that. And the bullying, her parents did know. The parents of the bully, the person who's bullying, did know, but they did nothing about it because they couldn't view the comments because the girl censored it so only her friends can see on it and you can do that on social media you can block certain people like your parents you guys said you can meet new people but some people that you meet is strangers and they might get like personal information from you and then you you're here. You're here. Yeah, you're here. Yeah. yeah when you're age like if 10 is the most used for social all social media sites then 10 year olds don't know what to Last share idea. what not to share so they can share some really private information maybe like even a password yeah, and yeah. a hacker yeah. can get it okay conclusion there was only one minute so conclusion uh we still think that uh, under 14 should be allowed because if they want to watch um, YouTube videos that are censored. They're going to want to watch. They're not going to just go and search something up and it's going to appear. They're just going to want to watch. And that's also the student's problem. Um, we all, we said that they, we get to meet new friends and it's also true. There's most of the big friendships happens online. And, and also like for the last one, First one, you said, like, oh, okay, conclusion, or this is, um, ne social network service is not bad for that because it's just communicate, it's just for communicate and learn some more about information and the personal information can be broke by changes of passwords, so it doesn't really matter, but it's under the third Fourteen can be used the social network service by a new account. That okay, time next last well, one, pros. Um, social sh social network should not sh is not accessible um, accessible for um, kids under fourteen because it can lead to um, trouble and like uh, uh, problems and cyberbullying. Um, children under 14 aren't always the smartest children when here, it here. comes to yeah. Yeah. Wow, you information agree? <laughs> no. and what to share and what not to share. And a lot of times they can skip through agreements and 
rules on certain websites just to play the game or whatever. Last but idea. sometimes they don't know the consequences and it could end badly. So. All right, thank you very much.